I got a new package. I'm really excited. So, I will be testing the Lady Gaga eyeliner. Um, and the Kat Von D eyeliner, I think it's called Trooper. Um, I just received them today, so I'm really excited. And I tried to open it, but then I was like, I should probably open it on camera. Because I think there's, like, some satisfaction in opening stuff on camera. Like, I love seeing people open, like, their stuff on camera. Like, so it's like we get to experience it as they get to experience it. So I was like, I'm going to be true to a YouTuber and open it on camera. But, um, today we'll be testing out this eyeliner. You guys always compliment me on my eyeliner whenever I do my videos. I am Lamar Townsend. If you're new to my channel, I'm a YouTuber. I'm an astrologer. I'm a psychic tarot reader. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, I'm also an astrologer, I'm also an energy channeler, but in this video I won't be doing any of those things. I'll actually be doing a review for you all, slash tutorial, I guess, slash, um, unboxing, I guess? Like, there's just so many things going on in this video, I'm really excited. I also received my, well, Intuos Pro, I didn't order this online, this is, if you're a graphic designer, you know exactly what this is, um, I went to school for graphic design. So, these are really expensive. This was $100, but I went to Best Buy and got it uh, delivered to me curbside because of the coronavirus. So, Best Buy is really, really cool with that. That was really, really a really good experience, actually. Um, it was really fast. I Ubered there. So, if you don't have a car, you can still Uber and get your stuff from Best Buy curbside. It didn't take too long. Um, and the whole process, Best Buy outlines for you. So, I'm really, it's just been a good day of, like, it's almost like Christmas here. But... Speaking of Amazon, literally an Amazon uh, car just drove by. I don't know if I have another order from Amazon. Like, I should probably check on that. I don't think I do. But anyway, we'll be reviewing the Kat Von D eyeliner, the Lady Gaga eyeliner. I'm going to be doing my eyeliner here on this little mirror. Um, kind of like a tutorial, I guess, to show you guys how I do my liner because you guys always compliment me on my eyeliner and my eyebrows. I'm not going to do an eyebrow tutorial, but I'm going to be doing an eyeliner tutorial. So let's go ahead and get into the video. The psychic with the T. The psychic with the T. That's me. That's me. Psychic with the T. The psychic with the T. That's me. So I moved the plant a little way out, out, out of your out of your way a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and if you hear any background noises, please forgive me. I have my windows open because it's a nice day here in Virginia. I also have my cat being weird. So if you have any weird, if you hear any weird cat noises, it's just my cat being weird. So that's normal. Let's open the package and see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. It's like Christmas in April for me. The, the eyeliner I've been using is Revlon. Revlon eyeliner. You can get this at uh, any drugstore or grocery store. Um, but I decided to try different eyeliners. Um, I really like that eyeliner, but we're going to see how this goes. Because I've never tried any other eyeliner than liquid eyeliner. So we'll see. So I got it open. And here are the products. So exciting. This is the Haas Laboratories eyeliner. I don't know if you can see it or whatever, but this is the Haas Laboratory eyeliner. I love the packaging. Um, it just says Haas Laboratories, and it's like um, almost indented or ingrained. It's really, really pretty. Um, and it's called the Liquid Eye Dash Lie Slash Nerd. So that's interesting. This is the Kat Von D eyeliner. Now, it's interesting that this is, like, wrapped up in plastic. I don't know why this is wrapped up in plastic. Maybe to keep it, um, from getting damaged or something like that. But I thought that was really interesting that the Kat Von D one was wrapped up in plastic. The Gaga one was just kind of on its own. Oh, okay. This is actually the ink liner. It's apparently waterproof. So, this one feels a little bit, like, the Kat Von D feels, like, definitely less smaller than the Gaga one. So, I'm wondering how that's going to pan out. Like, because I kind of, I'm like, I'm a creature of habit. So, when it comes to me, I like using the same thing over and over and over. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, I'm actually interested to see which one I like better. Because which one, whichever one I like better and whichever one lasts the longest, I'm probably going to continuously buy in place maybe of my Revlon eyeliner because 
Revlon eyeliner smudges a bit, so that's kind of frustrating. So now let's go ahead and open the packages. Okay, so I think first I'm going to use the Kat Von D. I don't know much about Kat Von D, except that she was friends with Jeffree Star. She has a lot of tattoos, and I think she's a tattoo artist. But outside of that, I don't know much about Kat Von D. So in my mind, I'm going to save the best for last, but it could be actually that the best is Kat Von D's eyeliner, not Gaga's. We'll see. I'm going to be honest and not biased and misreading, even though I love Gaga. I've seen her in concert. I've seen her up close. She's amazing. She's, you know, gorgeous. She's tiny, but she's like, oh my gosh. I saw her at the Art Rave Art Pop Ball, and it was the best concert I've ever been to. But I'm going to be totally unbiased in this, in this video. I am. So let's use the Kat Von D eyeliner first. I'm going to use the Kat Von D eyeliner on my right eye, and I'll use the Gaga eyeliner on my left eye, which is actually my hardest eye to do. So Gaga, we'll see how you do. Let's get into the Kat Von D eyeliner. I don't like how small it is, but maybe I'll get used to it. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to start up a... Oh, I like this. It's almost like a Sharpie. It's very precise. I like that. Okay. Damn it, I messed up. The worst part about doing eyeliner is when you, when you have to blink. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. But I like this so far. The thing I don't like about the Revlon is that sometimes it gets in my eye. But this is so precise that I don't see this getting in my eye and having a problem with that. The only thing is I wish the tip was a little bit thicker. Like, I'm, I'm a thick girl, so I like thick things. That could be taken in the wrong context. So I'm just going to shut up. Damn it. I'm not a pro at eyeliner quite yet, but I do pretty damn good for myself. Um, I love how precise this is. Like I told you, I've never used a felt tip liner, so I don't know like what to expect. I kind of want to put it back while I'm talking, because I don't know if it's going to like dry out or something like that, like a permanent marker would. But I like it so far. I like how precise it is. I just wish it were a little bit thicker so I could get more done instead of like, like preening it or like, you know, like just being... I don't know, like, meticulous with it. It just was a little bit meticulous. But like I told you, I've never used a felt tip liner before, so... I'm just being a little bit bratty, a little bit biased. So I like the Kat Von D one so far. I'm going to make my line a little bit thicker because I love a thick eyeline, eyeliner. So let's make it a little bit thicker. Excuse me, I'm drinking coffee. Coffee makes you a little bit gassy. Makes you burp. Or at least it does that to me. I don't know about y'all.
Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, so if you want to like make a thick line, you have to do it at an angle. Not use the tip, but use the sides of the actual like brush, I guess. That's how you make it thicker. Okay, I'm getting it now. Don't you hate when people do that? It's usually the like guys who do that, who like have to rev their engine engine up so so hard. So I actually like this a lot, you guys. Like I'm liking it so far. It's um, it's pretty matte from what I'm seeing so far. I like it. Um, I'm just not used to working with a felt tip liner, so it's like so it takes some getting used to. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom liner and then we're gonna move on to the Gaga one. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my cat eye, I guess you could call it. Um, although I know technically I did get a little like water in the corner of the eye, which always happens to me, so I'm not going to hold that against cat. That's my problem. But um, I actually really like the Kat Von Z eyeliner. Like, it was really easy to use. Um, it was relatively painless. And I just like how easy it was to use. Like, I don't have to worry about getting eyeliner in my eye with this, you know, Revlon. It's not a felt tip. It's like a, a little brush. And you brush it on and it's like, sometimes if you move your eye or you blink, it's like you get the, the brush in your eye and then you have to water it and then you have to redo the line. But I really, really like how easy that was to do. So I actually... I don't know, I like the Kat Von Z eyeliner. Let's see how Gaga's eyeliner holds up to the Kat Von Z tattoo liner. All right, Gaga, you're next, girl. Let's get this left eye snatched. All right, Gaga girl, you're next. Let's see how the Gaga House of House Laboratories eyeliner uh, stands up to the Kat Von Z eyeliner. Let's see. Oh, this is like, I like this. It glides a lot smoother, I think, than the Kat Von D. Because I barely, like, pressed, I barely, like, pressed on my, um, eye. And it's like, I see a good line right there so far. Let's see. Oh, this is really cute. I actually like this one. I don't know. I like I like how easy it glides. The thing is going to be the wear test though. That's going to be the test. Oh, I like this Gaga. I don't know, cat. I I kind of like the Gaga one so far. It's just so smooth and easy. Whereas I felt like with the Kat Von Z one, I had to like, kind of, hold on. I felt like with the Kat Von Z one, I had to be like, er, 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 I don't like that. I don't like the er, er, er. I like the, the glide, honey. I like the glide. And with Gaga's, I can glide. Glide, honey, glide. 
Glide, honey, glide. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. I'm trying to make them the same thickness. There's something about Gaga's formula. Hold on. There's something about Gaga's formula where how like some like when I blink it doesn't like it doesn't fuck up the process. <laughs> Sorry for cussing. But there's something about Gaga's formula that I really, really like. Like it does not F up the process at all. I like that. Alright. Let's make the wing. Oh wow. Gaga's formula is pretty much staying on there. Let's see how Cavon D's formula holds up. I'm rubbing it and it's not coming off either. Cavon D's. Even the shiny part's not rubbing off. Okay. I got some of Gaga's formula a little bit in my eye, but it doesn't hurt though. It doesn't hurt. I like that. Like it doesn't sting or anything like that. I'm still moving on like a trooper. The only thing, for some reason, the wing effect is a little bit harder to create with Gaga's formula. Honestly, it could be because I'm just not like good when it comes to my left eye as much as I'm good with my right eye. But, they're almost similar, pretty much, but not quite. I'm a Virgo rising, so I like symmetrical looks, I like cohesiveness. I feel like this one's a little bit thicker than this one, though. So I'm going to go back in with the cap on D1 on this side. Okay. Interesting. Oops. They're about the same. Um, I do see some little, little mistakes with the Gaga liner. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Dang. I'm gonna fix the little mistakes I see. Alright. That's about as good as it's going to get. Um, I'm done. I think, hold on. Uh, 
Okay. I'm done with my eyeliner, you guys. I once again got some eyeliner with the Gaga eyeliner into my left eye, and but it still does not sting. Like, it's not heavily affecting my eye. Whereas with the Revlon, if I got this shit in my eye, my eye would be fucked up for like two minutes at least. Sorry for cussing. So, okay, I have both eyeliners on, and I really, like, looking at it, can't really tell too much of a difference. To me, the Lady Gaga liner seems a little bit more smoother. Like, that's the best way I can explain it. But with my psychic intuitiveness, I feel like it has something to do with Gaga's... Oh, I got a little bit of liner up there. I feel like it has something to do with Gaga's formula that makes it so smooth, but also makes it so you don't, like, if you get it in your eye, it doesn't, like, make your eye sting. So, out of the two, I would say I like Gaga's formula better. But let's see. I'm rubbing the liner. And it's not coming off either. It's not coming off. So both of them seem to be pretty sturdy. Um, I think I'm going to come back now and give my final thoughts. Okay, I'm back with... What is my cat doing? I wish I could flip the, like... Like thing over and show you my cat. I'm in my living room. Well, not my living room, my dining room. So, like, that's... We're in my dining room right now. I live alone. Um, but, um... It's just me and my cat. But anyway. Which one do I like better? This is a tough call, you guys. I actually like both of them. I really, really do. But I kind of like the Gaga one better. I'm not going to lie to you all. I like the Gaga eyeliner better. Now, I know Kat Von D is, like, known for her awesome makeup that I hear stays on for a long time. I like the Kat Von D one, too, you all. So, which one would I buy again? I would kind of buy both again. I'm not going to lie. So far from what I'm seeing, I would buy both. However, if I ran out of both, which one would I buy more, more likely, like, before I buy the other one, I would more likely buy the Lady Gaga House of Lavatories one first before I buy the Kat Von D one. One, because it's just a little bit small, so I, like, when I buy products, I like to know that I'm getting my bang for my buck. Um, and I'm thinking that this one's going to last me a while, and it's really cute, so I can just put it in my bag if I need to touch up my eyeliner. But something's going to tell, something's telling me I don't need, I'm not going to need to touch this up too much, but. Also, I just like this packaging. The Kat Von Z one, I like this one, and I don't really have anything bad to say about it, to be honest with you. Like, they're both kind of matte, but they're both kind of shiny, to be honest. As they dry, it looks like the Kat Von D one's a little bit a little bit shinier than the Gaga one, but that's not too much of a big deal for me. I don't care about that. Um, but I like both. But I like the reason why I like the Gaga one more is because it's a bit smoother. There's something about the formula or the way the pin is made that's smoother as it goes on your eye. Um, it, it's a little bit harder to make mistakes, whereas once again the Kat Von D one you got to do the er 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 er. I don't know, like, that. that's how I like to do it sometimes, but, like, I just noticed that when I was doing the Gaga one, it just went on a lot smoother. So I would choose this one. Honestly, if I had to, if I had to choose, I would choose maybe the Gaga one over the Kat Von D one. But I like both, so I'm going to choose, like, if, if I was able to be a princess or a prince, and someone told me, like, oh, you can have any one you want. I would say, can I have both? Because I like both of these, actually. So, I am going to say I like both. But if I had to choose, I would go with the Gaga, Gaga eyeliner over the Kat Von D one. Mainly because of minor differences. Like I said, the Gaga one smooths. Like, it's, it's so smooth. It's a smooth application. Um, it's, like, really, really good for a beginner person who's, like, just learning how to do your eyeliner, where I feel like the Kat Von D one, is takes a little bit of, it's gonna probably take a little bit of practice for me to really master this specific eyeliner. 
probably not too long maybe a couple days but like where the gaga one it's like i kind of went into it and i was like oh i like this like i get this like i get this formula i get the way this is made so i hope that made sense you know i just don't want to come across as biased or anything like that but i actually really like the way both of them came out but something is really drawing me towards my left eye which is the gaga one so but i like both so I'm probably going to buy both again, to be honest. Um, but Gaga, you really did this eyeliner, honey. So I'm going to definitely have to check out the rest of your makeup um, line. Now, when it comes to makeup, I'm not really, like, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I typically do just eyeliner, elaborate eyeliner, and some eyebrows. But, hey, I'm open to trying new things. So let me know what you guys want me to try next. Let me go. Let me know what eyeliner you all want me to try next. I don't care if it's expensive. Just as long as it's not too expensive. Like a $200 eyeliner or even a $100 eyeliner is questionable. But anything maybe under $80. I know it's only a $20 difference. But, like, maybe anything under $80 I'll do. Maybe. But I like to keep my eyeliners to, like, $30 and below. Personally. Alright, but that's just me. Both of these were below $30. Um, I think the Gaga one was maybe $30 to be exact. And the Kat Von D one was like maybe like $25, $27 or something like that. So, either way, I really enjoyed this video. So, let me know what you want me to review next. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you also check out my social media, Lamar Townsend Tarot on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure you also visit my Vimeo page where I post exclusive content that I don't post on YouTube. And that is Vimeo.com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot. Thank you for listening and watching. If you would be interested in a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading from me or an astrology, needle chart, birth chart reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsontarot.com to purchase that reading from me. I'm available and I would love to read for you. Speaking of which, I have to go get some readings done right now. So I'm going to bask in this makeup that I just did and hopefully get some good compliments from my clients and saying, you know, oh, I love your eye makeup. Like, you know, what did you use? Well, I use Kat Von D on the right eye, and I use Gaga on the left eye, honey. That's what I'm saying. So anyways, I love you all. Thank you for listening and watching. Until the next video, make sure you subscribe, and keep in touch with me. Love and light. I'm gonna marry the night. Oh, I'm not gonna cry anymore.